So welcome to the Miracles and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Today, the 27th of August, I come with another day life lesson. This day life lesson talks about education. Before I go into it, I remind you to subscribe to the Miracles and Science TV channel on YouTube or to contact us on the numbers shown on the screen for any career guidance, life skills, personal development advice. Maybe you need to transition from one career to another. Maybe you need to change course. Maybe you need to get advice about which career to be able to develop. Please, our contacts are there. Reach us. So, this day life lesson tells us something that we, some maybe, are not told in school. We go to school, we spend a lot of time studying. But this day life lesson tells us that when you get any education, that does not deal with the heart, but only deals with the mind. That is no education at all. We know this may be strange to some people because when you go to school, you'll be trained to reason, to think, to solve mathematical problems, to do physics experiments, to analyze chemical reactions. That is training the mind. And unfortunately, we find that in most cases, that's where we go wrong. Someone is very good in class, scores A, 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 A throughout all distinctions, but doesn't actually succeed by measures from a number of dimensions in social life. You have seen people very good in terms of technical skills. They have very good understanding of mathematical equations. They have very good understanding of physics. They have very good concepts. They can be able to recount different stories that have been taught them from geography, from history. But when they get jobs, they fail to manage, simply because there was a lack of training of the heart. What do we mean? In the previous day life lessons, I talked about two the components of the human being, four of them, the body, the mind, the soul, which is the heart, and the spirit. So what education should do is actually to touch all the four components. That's why we have a problem where, for example, only the mind is dealt with, but without dealing with the emotions. And yet we understand that the emotions are actually the foundation of the mind. And Fortunately or unfortunately, when we are born, we are born inheriting a number of genetic traits from our parents, which highly influence our emotions. Personalities are inherited, but the education is supposed to deal with them to help us fit within the environment in which we find ourselves. So, if we only deal with the mind without the heart or the emotions, we miss a very important point whereby we have people who are educated, but emotionally poor. We find that other people who have the knowledge and skills to do certain things, the exterior skills, but when it comes to handling relationships at work, in organizations, in the businesses, they fail short. That means no education at all. It is important, therefore, in this day reflection to remember that when you go to school, when you take your children to school, when you support someone in school, let there be holistic education that touches the body, touches the mind, touches the heart, which is the soul, and also touches the spirit. And this is one of the contributions that we are trying to make as the Miracles and Science Center for Communal Person and Professional Development, so that you can be able to achieve holistic education in your endeavors. And when you do that, you'll be able to survive in any situation that you find yourself in. This has been our daily lesson for today.